Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has sent a cable of congratulations to Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa on his re-election as the president of the Asian Football Confederation, the AFC, for a new four-year term. His Majesty the King expressed sincere congratulations to Sheikh Salman for his great achievement that adds to Bahraini's multiple accomplishments at various regional and international gatherings. His Majesty King Hamad also asserted that the outcome of the election reflects the confidence of AFC in Sheikh Salman's competence and long experience in various youth and sports fields. His Majesty the King praised Sheikh Salman's distinguished contributions to enhancing the youth and sports movement in the kingdom through the posts he has held affirming his pride in the Bahrainis who are keen to honor their country on various occasions. His Majesty King Hamad wished AFC President every success in bringing about more achievements that enhance Asian football. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received senior royal family members, civil and military officials, members of the diplomatic corps, religious figures and scores of citizens. At the Her Highness Sheikh, Ibra Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad Al Khalifa's morning majlis in Rafah. They extended to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister their deepest condolences over the demise of his sister, Her Highness Sheikh Aisha bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The mourners recalled the contributions of the deceased in the humanitarian and charitable fields, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest her soul in eternal peace. His Royal Highness the Premier extended sincere thanks and appreciation to the mourners for the genuine feelings they expressed while offering condolences.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today Kuwait's Parliament Speaker Marzouk Al Ghanem, who condoled His Royal Highness over the demise of his sister, Her Highness Sheikh Aisha bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the sister of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and wife of Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Al Ghanem prayed to the Almighty Allah to rest her soul in eternal peace and recalled the contributions of the deceased in the humanitarian and charitable fields. His Royal Highness, the Premier, extended sincere thanks and appreciation to Kuwait's Parliament Speaker for his noble sentiments. He expressed that uh, reflects uh, the strong relations that bond Bahrain and uh, Kuwait, wishing uh, the Kuwaiti and its people further progress and advancement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa on his re-election as President of the Asian Football Confederation, the AFC, for a new four-year term. His Royal Highness affirmed that the outcome of the AFC election adds to Bahrain's long list of achievements in the world of sports and that will contribute to the progress of Asian football. His Royal Highness wished Sheikh Salman every success in raising the profile of Bahrain and its people on the world stage. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa on his re-election as President of the Asian Football Confederation, the AFC, for a new four-year term. His Royal Highness affirmed that the outcome of the AFC election represents yet another great achievement by Bahrain's sons and daughters in various fields under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, that it reflects the confidence of the AFC in the capabilities of Sheikh Salman and that it will, will further develop the leadership skills of Bahrainis in all fields. His Royal Highness praised the accomplishments of Sheikh Salman in developing the field of youth and sports in the kingdom through the positions uh, that he had previously held and wished every success in bringing further progress to Asian sports. 
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Works and Youth Affairs and the chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated on his own behalf as well as that of the youth and sports community, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa over the re-election of Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa as President of the Asian Football Confederation the AFC for a new four-year term. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also congratulated Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa on his re-election as the president of the Asian Football Confederation and said that it reflects his capabilities and his accomplishments in the field. His Highness said that all observers of the Asian football scene know that the professional work that Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim has carried out has resulted in unprecedented progress, which reflects his far-sightedness and his capabilities. His Highness uh, said that Sheikh Salman enjoyed the support of all Asian football confederations due to their confidence that he will bring about further progress to the scene. His Royal Highness said that Sheikh Salman has been keen on protecting the interests of the Asian Football Confederation, expressed confidence in his ability to achieve further success. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Chairman and Honorary Chairman of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, deputized Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, to crown the winners of the 120 kilometer endurance race. The winners of the race were the horsemen, Salman Isa of the Royal Stables and Abdurrahman Al Ali from Ahmed Al Fatih Stables. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the level of competition and performance during the race, as well as the wide attendance that the race has attracted. His Highness expressed optimism about future seasons based on the excellent results that have been achieved and high levels of performance that the horsemen have displayed this season. His Highness added that the participation of the Royal Team's participation was meant to gauge the level of performance of the horsemen and the horses for future competitions. His Highness congratulated the winners and express appreciation for the members of the organizing committee. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Faisal praised the role of Sheikh Nasser during all of the stages of the race, affirming that it played a big role in raising the morals of the horsemen, which has had a positive impact on the race, and added that His Highness Sheikh Nasser's efforts were key in improving and developing endurance races in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Faisal thanked the organizers, who he said played an important role in making the races successful. <coughs>
The UAE Minister of Tolerance, Sheikh Nahyan bin Mbarak Al Nahyan, extended condolences on the demise of the wife of His Highness Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Aisha bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and senior members of the ruling family received the UAE Minister, who conveyed the condolences of the UAE leadership. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest her soul in eternal peace. His Highness Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Deputy Prime Minister thanked the UAE leadership, government and people for their sentiments which reflect the deep-rooted ties between the two countries and people. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today arrived in the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan to attend the World Economic Forum on the Middle East and North Africa, the WEF. The Crown Prince of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II, welcomed His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at the Queen Alia International. National Airport. Upon arrival, His Highness uh, Sheikh Isa highlighted the long-standing ties between the two kingdoms and recognized the important role the WEF plays in strengthening global economic cooperation and achieving sustainable development goals.
In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the deputy chairman of the club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club held the 23rd race meeting of the season at the race course at Sakhir. It was held for the Cups of Viva and Bahrain Golden Cup. Also present at the race uh, were Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as horse racing fans. The event uh, comprised of seven races. At the end of the race, trophies were presented to the winners.
The Asian Football Federation announced from its headquarters in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, the re-election of Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa today as its president and as vice president of FIFA for a new term. The Asian Football Federation expressed its delight over the result of the election and its optimism that Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim's new term, which extends from 2019 up to 2023, will bring further progress and development to Asian football. Well, I'm very happy and uh, extremely delighted that uh, Sheikh Salman, uh, our leader, has been re-elected unopposed as the AFC president and uh, FIFA vice president. He is uh, uh, somebody who has led by example. He has improved the administration of the AFC, brought all the member associations closer to each other. He has improved the financials of the AFC tremendously. And that is very important because uh, in, in AFC, we had very less revenue, which did not help us to build the game. So with all these things, uh, Sheikh Salman has uh, demonstrated that he can uh, truly deliver uh, and he is somebody who we all admire. And uh, I'm sure under his leadership, AFC in the next four years will do much more progress than it has ever seen in the past. Obviously, we all know when he became the president in 2013, AFC was in total turmoil. AFC was uh, uh, in a crisis, putting it very modestly. He, through his leadership, through his ability, and through his capacity to organize and reinvent uh, the uh, confidence of uh, Asian member association in football, he took, he has taken football in Asia to new heights. Today, we see uh, so many initiatives of uh, the AFC president. And uh, the most important one is that each and every member of association today feels that it is an active part of uh, the running of AFC. That is the most important part which, uh, which uh, any president can instill in his body and in the member associations. Today, 47 member associations of uh, Asia stand truly united behind Sheikh Salman. Today, uh, we see AFC's revenues uh, uh, going beyond our expectations. Today, in each and every corner of uh, Asia, we see AFC-sponsored events and AFC tournaments, whether they are uh, regional or they are inter international. And uh, I'm uh, absolutely confident that in this uh, new term of 2019 to 2023, under the dynamic leadership of Sheikh Salman, Asian football is going to rise to new heights.